hello everyone welcome to illustrator so this is the second part of this uh, isolated foundation uh, drawing series so here uh, in our previous session what we have done we have created the reinforcement plan a typical uh, foundation reinforcement plan right so now what we will do we will create the sectional uh, view uh, where these reinforcements will be visible and also the section of the foundation will be visible okay so we'll create this section a fine so now what i will do uh, uh, if you remember uh, though it is a typical uh, drawing so uh, you can say there is no need of dimension and all but still uh, we'll go by the dimensions here so i will take a construction line so excel enter and v enter i will take this two construction lines just to get the width and then i will take another construction line excel enter h enter let me change the layer to my concrete layer rcc layer and h enter okay and i'll take one here fine so now i will take an offset o enter offset and suppose i will take some offset of 600 mm suppose fine though it is uh, it will vary or maybe a bit more so uh, o enter maybe 800 mm so that we can things will be visible clearly fine so this is my uh, foundation so you can say cross section i have created and uh, now what I, what I will do uh, i will trim this so tr let me just select these two and tr enter and let me trim this now let me select this tr enter and let me trim this also sorry i need to trim that also so tr enter fine okay so let me just match property i may enter this fine so you got the uh, you can say foundation pad now the column is required so i will take again excel enter v enter i'll take this too okay and maybe somewhere here i will or here i will break the column so i will select this tr enter i'll trim this two and i will select this tr enter i'll trim this two fine okay so now this line i will keep i will later uh, delete uh, this later now what we need now we need the bottom and top reinforcement right so what i will do you can see these lines will be uh, you can see helpful for us so i will just take a long rebar now see this is my longitudinal direction so if i just suppose i am considering this uh, as my footing and uh, this is the longer direction 3000 mm and this is the shorter direction 2.5 uh, 5 meter right 2500 so uh, as i have drawn the cross section in the along you can say around the longer direction so obviously the longer bars i am considering that the the longer direction bars are my uh, distribution bars and these are my you can say the shorter direction bars are my uh, you can say main bars so in that case the main bars main bars will be at the bottom and the distribution bars will be at the top so first of all the visible bars will be the first layer of bars will be the main bars so we will see the cross section of the main bars right so i will create some uh, you can say bars so maybe let me see if i create using the donut command donut enter specify the diameter of the donut maybe i will specify the 20 enter specify the outer diameter okay it asks for inner diameter let me see it i'll take the donut donut enter specify the inner diameter i'll take zero zero outer diameter i'll take suppose 20 specify the center of the donut so i'll press it here okay so one donut created now you can see as i have created of 20 mm dia so it, it looks very small so what we are doing we are creating a uh, typical detail right so you do not have to be very scaled and all so that's why what i will do i will take again donut d o n u t donut and specify the inner diameter is zero outer diameter is suppose 50 
press enter else click here so now you can see it is uh, it is visible a bit and for the other reinforcements like you can say the uh, stirrups i will create another donut which will be the small one so maybe i will increase this size also donut inner diameter 0 outer diameter i will i'll take 80 for the bigger one so or maybe donut inner diameter 0 outer diameter maybe 75 enter and i'll click here yeah so this bar i will be using this bar i'll be using as my main bar and this smaller one i'll be using for my stirrup okay so i think it will be better uh, we will see if the scale is looking good or not otherwise we will create another smaller one fine so now i will take as uh, just for our view purpose so o enter i'll take a uh, you can say offset of 50 okay and i'll press this do not see o enter okay let me take another offset offset of 50 from this side 50 from this side from top also okay so i'll take this m enter okay and i will place it here it looks very big actually so better we keep this as my main so m enter you can select create this using uh you can say uh, circle also circle and you can provide hatch or you can create using the donut okay your wish now uh, let me just move it a bit okay this is you can adjust no problem fine so now what i will do now what i will do i will just uh, give the path array so i'll select the object i'll give array ar enter i'll select path i'll select this line as path and spacing you can provide anything now for now because uh, it doesn't matter for us as it is a typical drawing so i'll just give uh, suppose 200 sorry okay it looks good right with 200 or maybe 25 let me see yeah okay so it looks good now i'll break it close the array i'll break it x center now the individual donut i have and i'll move it a bit here okay fine maybe this also a bit okay so the bottom layer we got now we need the top layer what i will do we do not have to create the top layer we can just move this we know so we can offset it i created the donut of uh, 50 so we can create 50 itself and i can offset this so it will be at the top we can delete this fine okay similarly we can what we can do we can select this now for the top bar also similarly the same thing will happen so this will be though though it is uh, uh, top bar okay and the main bars will be at the top so i will select this see it depends so the cross section if you are drawing in this direction so in this case uh, maybe the shorter direction will be different right the shorter direction will be uh, the you can say the bars that you are seeing in the cross section longitudinally right but here as i made the cross section in the longer direction so i am making the cross uh, you can say drawing like this right i hope it is clear to you uh, now i will just copy this c o enter and i will take it at the top fine again i'll make an offset o enter 50 and i'll make a just delete 
this also fine okay so now i will offset this who oh, enter maybe 25 mm sorry uh who oh, enter 25 mm enters i'll offset this and i'll offset this so now what will happen i'll make a fillet f enter okay uh r enter and maybe i will give a fillet diameter of 20 enter i select this and this okay enter i select this and this okay fine okay similarly i will do for this and this for this and this i think by mistake i have done control z sorry control z it will be control z yes this fillet will be with this one this line and this line right the outer one now you remember that this will be the uh, development length considering the tension okay this bend will be providing the development length considering the tension and if you require the top reinforcement if it is just for the minimum reinforcement purpose then there is no such criteria you can provide anything but if it is if you have some tension in the reinforce i can say 14 and you are providing the top reinforcement to resist that tension so obviously you need to provide uh, this reinforcement considering that tension actually means the ld considering tension right uh, so in this case what we will do uh, in this case i will just draw like this you can you can drag it like this and you can also drag it like here so this suppose some 75 mm lap you can provide okay so this thing this band should be ld considering the you can say development length and this lap may be 75 mm you can provide okay this lap doesn't matter you can provide 75 mm because the top reinforcement here we are providing considering it as a minimum reinforcement okay because in isolated footing you hardly uh, allow some tension so that's why uh, what we are considering that there will be no tension and uh, we are providing the top reinforcement as the minimum reinforcement okay so something like this you will select make okay something like this you will make and you can provide this lap means not lap means this uh, this area at 75 up to here okay so now what i will do i will select this lines i'll make it j enter joint okay it will not join because there is a curved line right no problem i will just select these lines control z any typical whenever you are making so this kind of typical detail you don't have to show scale and all okay it will be just representative okay let's select this long rebar now okay these are my long rebars and these are not this one these are my So you can see i have selected all the donuts so these are my cross rivers so i'll put it in the sectional river fine okay i think it is clearly visible now properly visible so i have provided the reinforcement now what i will do now i will provide the uh, reinforcement for the column okay now i'll provide the reinforcement for the column so what i will do again the same process i will follow so i will take an offset of 50 sorry offset of 50 
and I'll offset this inside to okay fine now I will offset this line O enter 50 okay now I'll fillet it let me break this so just modify and break it here and also break it at this location so there, this line is not required I'll make a fillet F enter I'll create a fillet like this okay now I'll make a match I may enter match properties this one and this one and this one okay now up to up to how much we should it, it should go it should go up to 300 mm. so just oh enter maybe 300 mm I'll provide okay and trim tr let me select this and this tr enter though this dimension is not required you can provide any but you just have to write that this length minimum is required 300 mm. this length okay obviously from here to here you will be providing from face of the top face of the uh, you can say foundation to this end it should be this length should be ld but minimum should be 300 mm okay minimum this uh, bottom length should be 300 okay fine so we will write this later so now you can create the stirrups now you can create the stirrups so uh, for that you know that we need to provide the confinement reinforcement whatever confining reinforcement that you are providing for the column and the same confinement reinforcement need to be provided uh, inside the foundation also up to at least up to 300 mm depth right at least up to 300 mm depth and uh what you have to do 300 means from top okay so at least up to 300 mm depth you have to provide this uh, confining reinforcement and uh, that the spacing between the confining reinforcement should not be more than 300 mm right okay so now sorry spacing i think 150 mm i forgot the criteria most probably the confining reinforcement spacing should not be more than 300 or 150 or something like that you can check in the code fine so as per the design input you will be doing it so what i will do first of all i will create the one stirrup so i'll take l enter maybe i'll offset it o enter i'll offset 50 mm okay i'll take these two lines i'll trim it tr enter i'll trim this and i'll trim this okay now i will select i will match property m a enter and okay now i'll change the line type as dotted so i'll just go to dashed b dashed 2 for this fine and along with this now in the cross section also it will be visible so i'll just take this co enter and i will scale it down sc enter maybe half i will make 0.5 okay i'll select this m enter move we can further scale it down maybe again 0 0.5 half of this yeah this is perfect because see whenever you are making typical drawing the important it is not important to have a proper dimension but the the visibility should be proper right so you just have to see that the main bar dia and the stirrup dia should not should not look like the same right so this is what we are keeping in mind here while making this drawing i'll just i'm just putting it here okay so it is nothing but the stirrup in the cross section okay I'll just select this MI enter and I'll mirror this. Okay, now I will select this and what I will do, I will array AR enter. I'll do path array, select the path and 
I will give suppose 100 mm and I will change the direction to top. Sorry, I'll make 100 mm close array. I'll select this numbers it is showing. I'll just make suppose 5. Okay, let me see if I can give minus. Okay, fine. I'll just close the array. Now I will select this. I will take it. I'll move it. I'll select this. I'll move it. M enter. Continue. Okay. Further, if I require, maybe I will increase up to 8 or maybe 15 or maybe 12 okay let me see close it then i can move it and enter yeah fine now what i have to do I'll make a copy C O enter and I need to keep it down like this. Like this. Sorry, control Z. I'll make F eight on. fine now up to 300 mm. so i will just select maybe i'll give just three of this okay so this length from here to here it should be at least uh, 300 mm. now you don't know uh, if i consider 300 mm and if i provide 100 mm spacing then there will be three bars so i just uh, given like this but you can change it afterwards as per your requirement Okay, maybe you can make it uh, four bars also. Maybe uh, the spacing will be reduced. Fine. Okay. Okay, now 300 mm. I have one doubt whether the 300 mm is from the face of the support or uh, face of the support or from the bottom bar. Uh, let me check once. in the code though it is not required to show here but still for our understanding our clarification you can see here yeah from the face of the support 300 mm okay fine no problem so we are correct only fine so let me close this so now if you see here let me just reduce this number to maybe 5 okay because this is the confining reinforcement or maybe i will select it and i'll make it uh, 10 8 okay let me keep it down and enter move press f8 like this again make a copy of this ceo enter because confining reinforcement will not be at the uh, in the whole length so i'm just adjusting it to show properly okay i'll close it i'll select this array here maybe i will make three and the spacing i will make it 150 something around okay i'll select this i'll move it i'll move it like this now you can see it is visible clearly this is my confining reinforcement with closely spacing and then the mid portion is coming where the spacing is uh, increased and inside also we have provided some confining reinforcement special confining reinforcement so this detail will be given in the column so we do not worry about it but that 
we need to decide uh, that whatever confining reinforcement that we are providing for the column the same should go inside considering uh, that this from the face of the foundation to up to 300 mm depth fine so almost done all the reinforcement and all now what you have to do you have to provide the detailing part right so let me offset this o enter maybe 75 mm okay and i'll take a line now i'll change it to rcc okay i'll take l enter i'll take a line 75 75 and here okay also 75 75 and here okay so you can add this j enter so this is for pcc now we can provide an hatch h enter and the concrete hatch you can provide here like this okay fine now one more hatch we will be providing later inside this foundation and column so now i will select this i'll keep tr enter and i'll trim these two lines okay now i will select this i'll give tr enter and select this smooth line you can see almost our foundation and column that we have uh, created right okay if there is anything more we need to provide fine so now what uh, we will do we will start creating the detailing so now if you see we have created this cross section here a cross section so the bar that we are seeing these two bars these are mentioned by a and c so the bar a is the bottom bar along this short direction so this is the bottom bar so this is my a this donut and the top one top one it is c so i need to denote this this and this a and c okay so i will create a circle now i will go to text uh, you can say layer i'll go to circle c enter i'll just select any of these donuts i'll make a circle like this it was of 50 maybe i will make a 65 okay or maybe less maybe 5 mm less sorry delete this c enter and make a 16 maybe yeah okay right i'll take a line let me see if we can quadrants yeah now we can find this quadrant and we can write it here okay so you can just copy the text from here or let me write itself uh, I'll, I'll take a multi-line text m m text i'll draw it here so this was a right i'll make a circle again i'll move this and i'll move this a bit to adjust okay now i will make this as a group g enter fine i'll copy this c o or yeah i'll i can make a mirror also m enter m i enter and i'll be making a mirror like this okay and this bar 
we will take from here c o enter if you remember this is nothing but uh let's see this is c okay top bar is c so i will change it to c fine okay if you want to reduce let me just break the group and if you want to stretch it down you can stretch it like this this one also if you want to stretch let me ungroup if you want to stretch it and center you can stretch it down properly okay sorry fine so anyway you just have to uh, adjust all these things so now we can we made this a and c now the other longitudinal these bars will be you can see here this is uh bottom one is b and top one is d okay so i will take a leader multi-leader i will take mld enter and i will select like this and i will write it a b b it will be right b okay here let me just increase this but here one problem is the text we cannot write properly let me delete this let me take a leader it's only leader and mark this and this like this okay fine now text i will write by myself i'll just copy this okay this was b right you can adjust this pressing let us let me turn off the f8 and let me turn off this grid snapping also f8 where it is yeah f8 off i have adjusted the text you can select this and stretch as enter stretch somewhere here pressing f8 Let me move this bit here. Okay. Maintaining this kind of uniformity is very important to have a very beautiful drawing. Okay. So you can see now how beautiful, how good it is looking. If B is here, A is here, then it would be very, uh, you can say, haphazard. So now you can select this. You can make a mirror. Am I enter and mirror this? Okay. Now it will be D. You adjust the text. Okay. Fine. I select this I stretch and center. I select this stretch and center. Stretch it down. Yes. Fine. Clear okay now what we will do we will give this thickness so for that i will take it this uh, uh i can say linear dimension i will take from here to here i will take like right like this now i'll edit this ed enter and instead of 800 mm i'll write t f which is nothing but the thickness okay now for that one more thing i have to do let me see if I can make it sub uh, suffix lowercase. Okay, fine. Yeah, yes. Now, one problem is here you can see that the distance of the text from the dimension is very less here, right? So, we can change it from the dimension style manager. You can modify this and let us go to the text. Let us go to dimension first and let's see. 
linear jog dimension enter line if i go to lines offset from origin extend beyond dimension lines okay fine baseline spacing From where we should correct this let me see what is this baseline spacing if I give 50 let me see what is coming something else actually let me keep it 3.75 only for now text uh, break size let me see 125 it is also something else let me see this one no uh, there will be some offset value let me see where it is offset from offset from dimension yes this one so let me give an offset of 25 mm from the dimension line okay if i click on ok set current close you can see now this 25 mm offset is given okay so this is tf tf is nothing but the thickness of foundation so what you have to do you just have to define it in the foundation layout that this is the tf tf equal to something so we have will in the typical drawing we will only write tf right now i will take another leader uh, L E enter leader fine then I will take this three from somewhere like this I'll just write here specify text width text width anything you can put maybe whatever it is 125 and enter first line of okay so let me write special okay this is okay special i have written uh, let me write special confining re and okay special confining reinforcement and i need to increase this or let not let not write here we will use the text it is the better option i guess okay let me delete this okay this is something else control z this is i will delete fine so here i will take another one c o enter copy like this and like this okay and this we can stretch as enter here sorry control z let me just break this x enter and delete this okay so now these you can make a group g enter fine okay so what i will do i will use this text i'll copy this co enter f8 i'll turn off and i will take it here first i will write i will write spatial confining 
re in reinforcement okay i will increase the okay like this control sorry control a i'll make it all right i'll select this m enter i'll put it here yes okay so these are special confining reinforcement fine and now the for the same this column reinforcement i'll copy this co enter i'll select it i'll take it here or maybe i'll move it m enter let me stretch ungroup this and stretch it as enter sorry as enter i don't know why this stretch sometimes doesn't work here uh okay let me delete this let me take a leader itself le enter leader from here keeping the f8 on okay maintaining this escape and i will write c o enter I will write it uh, lateral ties lateral ties okay and in bracket I will write refer column details right because this will be available in the column detail not here I'll just okay and you can move it like this fine okay inside this it is uh, up to 300 mm so why what do you have to do i will just take from here to here I'll press F8 and this we need to write as 300 mm. So edit ED enters. We'll write 300 mm. Okay, now this uh, let me change it. D enter. I think this is the break size. Uh, modify somewhere it is very. Let me see. 1.5 times text. Okay. 25 offset. So here you can see it is uh, going beyond let me see if i can okay i'm not able to move this also mm. or else what we can do we can just uh, take a you can say a leader from here and we can write outside that at least minimum 300 which should be provided let me see if we can provide somewhere like this yeah this direction we can provide sorry let me just delete this i can take it as uh dimension linear d i m l okay it should not be congested actually so that's why okay
okay i will edit this ed enter and i will edit this to 300 fine i will take it at the top fine reinforcement marking over this 300 mm over here also we need to provide another we need to write uh, i can say ld correct so i will take a dimension from here to here like this and i will take another dimension from here to here like this okay now i'll just break it x center i'll delete this i'll also break it x center i'll delete this i'll delete this this and this also now i'll press f enter and i'll make a fillet like this okay so here i will write ld uh, i think I will take any of the text C O enter looks like uh, with the text dimension the uh, I think the sizes we have taken very small here because as we are not making with scale so we are just putting the uh, you can say text and all with scale so that whenever we'll be putting it in the paper it should look nice so we could have made the foundation a bit bigger in that case it will be it will be looking good right okay no issue now what is left thickness we have provided confining reinforcement we have provided and okay so one more thing one more thing you do not know now when you are creating this uh, you can say typical detail you do not know whether whether there will be uh, you can say this this thickness of the foundation will be more than 75 or not okay so in this case in this case you have to pro you have to show some you have to show some uh, you can say outer face reinforcement also right side face reinforcement also so that uh, in case it is required they can uh, it is it is it is visible here in the drawing right so side face reinforcement will be provided at the outside so in this case what you have to do you have to stretch this a bit inside so s enter stretching it suppose here and we'll stretch this a bit as center suppose here okay let me correct these things okay something like this will provide f8 okay just let me move this a bit inside like this and move this also a bit inside okay now you take this let me correct this first 
okay fine now you take let me move this also a bit inside directly okay so now you take this you make a copy co enter and let me turn off the f8 put it here one let me control z f8 okay put one here one here like randomly i'm giving okay one here okay you just adjust this properly fine now you select this three you copy this see you enter you sorry one two three copy c o enter and take from here to here move this okay right now we need the site face reinforcement so what i will do i will write it actually i will copy this c o enter and i'll suppose mark it somewhere here like this okay i'll enter from here i will take Or maybe what i will do i'll make a copy like this i'll take a line somewhere here okay so i will just write a line i'll make a copy of this ceo enter I'll write SFR provide SFR when P f is greater than 750 mm okay here this tf i'll make now i will adjust this position i have entered so this is nothing but the side face reinforcement when should we provide when the thickness is more than 750 mm. okay fine the rest we have covered i guess i think there is nothing left yeah this another dimension we need to provide from here to here it should be minimum 300 mm so i'll just write it like this i'll edit this ed I'll write it 300 then I'll press and enter so enter will not press will front slash and uh, keeping the caps lock on X so it will be bottom I'll make a bracket and I'll make minimum okay like this now uh, we can adjust all these things how we can adjust the text size and all everything we can adjust right so d enter dimension modify you can see everything is center uh, 
horizontal centered i will write okay above also centered if i provide view direction okay fine offset correct let's click on set current close yeah now it looks good yes yes correct it looks good now 300 mm but minimum uh, minimum 300 mm we need to provide here correct and what is this this is 75 mm pcc right this is 75 mm pcc so i will take this co enter i'll make f8 I'll move it a bit okay i'll as center stretch it as center some for some reason it is not stretching i don't know okay so just let me write a text here i'll take this c o enter Seventy five mm E C C Okay. I'll move it here and I'll move it like this F eight like this correct so almost all the details uh, we have provided now here it looks congested actually here you can see okay fine no problem mm. this you can write or maybe it is not required also to write if required you can lie write it later if required okay like 75 mm overlap or ld this you can write but everyone knows actually this so you can leave it special confining reinforcement what i will do let me just move this a bit below like this okay it will look good let me ungroup this and let me move this also m enter correct right now it is well properly visible i'll make a group g enter okay correct fine so uh, i guess everything is over special confining reinforcement we have written lateral ties main bar top bottom pcc 300 mm at least sfr pcc thickness correct nothing else left now you can make a section line here l enter i'll make a line here Okay, uh, offset O enter maybe 50 mm. Let me select these lines and stretch. Um, pressing F8. Okay. I'll move these and enter to here. Okay, fine. Now I will take a line, I'll enter. I'll draw a line like this. Now we'll trim TR enter. Trim this, 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 this. This is not required. And I will match property and enter. Okay. 
I'll make this as group J enter join. Now this much big is not required. So O enter offset 50 enter. Select this line and this line T R enter. Trim this to sorry. T R enter trim this and delete these two lines. Okay. Fine. So this is section AA, right? So you can just copy this C O enter. And you can press it here. You can edit this now. So you can write typical foundation reinforcement detail. Okay. Detail. I'll press enter. And in bracket, we will write section A. A bracket i'll press a space here bracket close i'll make it at the center fine okay you can see we have the plan here and we also have the uh, you can say detailing here I think in the dimension I have changed some something that creates this gap okay okay fine fine I got it the break line so let me just change it D enter somewhere I have changed the break line okay this dimension actually i have created in center so what i will do i will just break these things i will change i'm like i'll break the group i'll press i'll break all this explode all this x enter okay so here there will be a text which i will be deleting delete i'll join these lines j enter see anything you can do i have drawn using the dimension line so that these arrows i don't have to make by myself so now it is creating issue so i exploded that and i've made a simple single like now it is an individual line and this is an individual arrow right now you can create this again a group so there are many options whatever is feasible for you you can use that right now it is fine section a anything left you can check actually if there is anything left and you can uh, provide accordingly fine okay so uh, i will keep uh, this session up to here only in our next session i will show you how you can create the i can say schedule because this a b c we have written so that schedule you have to provide right even the site face reinforcement also so uh, how we can create the schedule and uh, it is now then it will be ready for uh, you can say sending to the site and if required i will also show you the layout as i said how this typical i can say reinforcement drawing will be referred with the layout okay and with the schedule fine so i hope it is clear how we can create uh, i can say very it is very easy if you create this kind of typical detail in that case uh, you do not have to worry about every individual putting you create one and then according to the notation you just provide the information in the schedule fine so thank you uh, uh, if you have any doubt you can always write me in the comment or if you have any suggestion regarding this you, you please uh, let me know in the comment and uh, uh, while making this drawing if i made any mistake somewhere or if you think there is a way scope of improvisation you please let me know in the comments so that i can uh, make a better one in the in the next session thank you and see you in the next session